Welcome to Something Extra, a show that was designed to create awareness and understanding of people with Down syndrome in your community. I am your host, Maria Severson. Today, you will meet Carrie Linden from Desanio and Rob Snow, CEO and creator of the Improvenier Method. And you'll also be able to have some fun with some of his outstanding performers from the Improvineers. Hello, I'd like to introduce introduce Rob Snow, the CEO and creator of the Improvineer Method. Hey, Rob. Hi, Maria. <laughs> so tell us, what is the Improvineer Method? So the Improvineer Method is um, basically we're using improvisation to build really key skills that are going to greatly increase social, workplace, and lifetime opportunities for those with developmental disabilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, and why did you uh, decide to start this Improvineer Method? You know, I had had a background in stand-up comedy and improvisation. I studied mm -hmm. improvisation at Second City um, and a couple other places back in Chicago in the late 90s. And then we had our son, Henry, uh, who has Down syndrome in 2009, and we started um, a charity called Stand Up for Downs, uh, where we were producing comedy events to raise money for different Down syndrome organizations. Um, and then it hit me a few years after starting that, like, Wait a minute, what about improvisation? Um, mm -hmm. Because the skills that you can learn from improvisation, we're talking about problem solving, quick thinking, um, commu you know, um, uh, focus, teamwork, mm -hmm. listening, eye contact, voice projection, I mean really, plus a pretty good build in self-confidence. Mm -hmm. So these are really important skills and I thought if we could really improve those skills in those with developmental disabilities, I mean we can, we can create jobs more specific to their abilities, you know, so. That's really, that's how it all started. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Henry, your son with Down syndrome. I mentioned Henry, yes. Yeah, so you, you have been involved with Desanio for, since he was born. Since he was born, yeah. Mm -hmm. From a board member, yeah. You are a board member, I yes. do remember that. Yes. <laughs> okay, and so through the Improv Near Method, have you seen some results? Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it, and it's kind of, um, it's kind of immediate, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, well it's not immediate, but it, it does, it can be immediate and then it builds over time. I think, you know, there was, I had started doing it monthly uh, to begin and, you know, just once a month mm -hmm. and we were just kind of throwing games that we knew, you know, from my days and, and things like that and just throwing games at the individuals to see if any stuck. And then we really started to put some, some thought on how to really hone these games so that we teach in a, in a manner that really works for those with developmental disabilities. So um, some will call it like a scaffolding approach. You know, we're really building one foundation before we build the next and really concentrating on that. So there's a lot of reiteration, repetition involved. But uh, we had, so I was, uh, I, had, I had done it for about five months now. Mm -hmm. So there was one individual and he had a dual diagnosis of uh, Down syndrome and autism, just a, a sweet, sweet young man, but he only really had three words that he would say in class. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I was in an airport, and he'd been to all five classes, and I got a call while I was in an airport, like in New North Carolina or somewhere. Mm -hmm. And the woman who, run, who uh, ran the studio where we did the classes, she said, hey, I gotta tell you this story. Um, I was just over at uh, this person's house, and he came to the door, he hugged me, which was not mm -hmm. something that he would do. He had a very, he was yeah. a little more sensitive, you know, to, to touch and things like that. He hugged me and then he just started talking and he was saying, I, uh, I want to be an actor. I want to be actor. I want to um, mm -hmm. be on um, Playhouse Square. I want to do like was all these things. Was she shocked? Oh yeah, she was completely, <laughs> she couldn't stop talking and he had his, his imp improvenier uh, certificate mm -hmm. and everything with him and he's pointing to it. And, and the parents came over and she said, what has gotten into him? Mm -hmm. And she said, that class. Mm -hmm. Like, I, he can't stop talking since being in that <laughs> class. And I, I didn't realize all the impact that it did have. And, um, and I'm like huddled in you know, mm -hmm. the airport, like in bawling, you know, Aww. I'm like crying. Yeah. Uh, just going, oh my gosh, and I called my wife. I was like, listen to this story. But it and then I said, you know what, we got to do this once a week, mm -hmm. um, you know. And so that's when the Improvineers came about because we auditioned a group and we, uh, Weathervane Theater in, mm -hmm. in Akron really. Yeah, I saw those auditions amazing. on your website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And so we auditioned about 25 or 30 individuals. 
hardest job in the world, cutting it down to 10 individuals, wow. mm -hmm. as you can imagine. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> it was so hard. I don't know if I could do it again. But, um, but it was for the purpose of taking these 10 very committed individuals and really like, you know, them being kind of guinea pigs to this program for mm -hmm. a couple of years. And they and just... And you call those your originals, right? The originals. The originals, the okay. The OGs, yeah. The Improvineers. <laughs> and they became the world's first all Down Syndrome improv troupe. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of That's exciting. Amazing. And they performed around the country and, um, mm -hmm. you know, so it's been great. Yeah. Where was your first show? So the first big show was at Weather Vane Theater, and okay. we sold out. That was a each we sold out two nights in a row. Mm -hmm. I think they have like 300 seats in their auditorium and everything. So, or in their theater, it, really incredible. Um, so that was the first big one. But then we went to Wisconsin. We performed. Um, uh, well, before uh, the pandemic, we were scheduled to go to uh, California, mm -hmm. North Carolina, down to Alabama, wow. Boston, like mm -hmm. all these places. And then, of course, we performed at all the conferences, like all the Down syndrome conferences around the country. Mm -hmm. uh, at one point, they performed in front of 3,000 individuals at the, North, at the National Down syndrome con mm -hmm. conference. That's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so during the pandemic, did you still offer these classes? So we had to improvise. Yeah. Uh, improvise. So, <laughs> yes. Um, so we heard of this thing called a Zoom uh, <laughs> that I'd never heard of before, and it didn't fit at first. I was like, well, you know, we need to be physical in these classes. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to work online. And then myself and my uh, my right hand, who's been we with me just about from the beginning, Maggie Bassesi, um, we really grabbed as many of these classes to decide um, which ones worked on a Zoom platform. Mm -hmm. um, and it turned out about 75% of them we could actually do. So we created um, these classes and the structure over Zoom and it ended up creating 40 different classes, so almost a full year of classes. Mm -hmm. We do them once a week and they last an hour. And now we're teaching over Zoom about 40 classes a week wow. online. Mm -hmm. But now and everybody, and now everybody here, wants it live, yeah. and uh, so now we're really busy. But the classes aren't <laughs> just here; it's all you know throughout. Uh, well, the obviously yeah. here in terms of it being over Zoom, but um, yeah, they're all over the country. I mm -hmm. mean, we've got people, and I, I haven't done that. You know, I haven't plotted it all out, but about all over, um, probably every state mm -hmm. would have a representation there. So oh, wow. that's cool. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> so, Rob, can you tell us what's coming up with um, you and yeah. Desanio? Well, so I'm so excited to, to really partner with Desanio. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. we're in North, Northeastern Ohio here, too. Uh, we've done so much with Desanio in the past through our, our charity, through our involvement and things like that. And it's just, it's just you guys are amazing mm -hmm. uh, and do such a great job, the whole team. Um, but we uh, we are going to do an improvaganza, yeah. uh, which is like a, a big workshop. Um, it's three hours, so um, you know we'll, we'll you'll send out more details on that. But it's mm -hmm. April second, second, uh, which is a Saturday, and it's in Independence. And yeah, we're going to take anybody who comes, and you can get a, a, a preview of what we do with improv, and then they'll mm -hmm. even do a little performance for the parents afterwards. Great, and what's the age range for this? We're gonna separate it into two, so you're gonna have youth 10 to 15 mm -hmm. years old, and then you're gonna have 16 plus. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's exciting. Yeah. I cannot wait for Eve to attend. Oh, Eve better be there. <laughs> I mean, she better be, she's a rock star. Well, thank you, Rob, for yeah. sharing this information with us today. You got it. Coming up is my dear friend and co-worker, Carrie Linden. This is how I see myself. I see myself as a daughter, a sister, and a best friend. As a person you can rely on. I see myself meeting someone that I can share my life with. I see myself as an ordinary person with an important, meaningful, beautiful life. This is how I see myself. How do you see me?
Hi, and welcome back. I'd like to introduce um, Carrie Linden. Carrie is our beautiful and wonderful office assistant at Desanio. Carrie, your family has been involved with Desanio for many years. Can you tell us about that? Yes. My mom, Carrie Linden, joined the Upside of Downs along with Paula Patterson in the 1980s. We, they put together conferences and workshops that their young adults with Down syndrome can attend. Um, and Did you speak at some of these conferences? I also spoke at some of the conferences while we were in downtown Cleveland in the Renaissance Hotel. That's where the conferences were. And I got to stay at the hotel while my mom had these conferences. And I got to go to lots of different um, uh, workshops and the and and to speak at the each each of them. Sounds amazing. And and um, it, we've uh, evolved into Desanio now. And you work there. Can you tell everyone about your job at Desanio? I work for Down Syndrome Association of Northeast Ohio. Mm -hmm. I work on the summer galas and the body walks. Those are the two big events. And then also I help with other tasks at the office, like I, I. Do stuff on the computer. I do stuff on the, I, I put, the, I put data into the computer after each event. The mm -hmm. event, I also take inventory of the office supplies. Oh yeah, also the Alpha Twenty One store. Mm -hmm. We need you to do all that for us. <laughs> <laughs> and you also have another job, right? Yes. <clears throat> uh, what do you do at this job? I work at the Cleveland Clinic under the United Cerebral Palsy. And there's other people that work there with you? I have seven other coworkers and a supervisor. And I work on in data, data entry on the computer. And it has to be really It has accurate, to be really right? precise and accurate. Mm -hmm. I work with ma on mailings. I work on filing and going through files. I work with different tasks. Like clerical tasks? Like clerical tasks. Yeah. Wow. So with these two jobs, you're also one of our talented Artful 21 artisans. Um, what's the name of your business? Gary's Colorful Creations. Did you come up with that name? I came up with the idea. Yes, I did. <laughs> so can you tell us about your business, Carrie? Um, I am... What do you make? I make homemade note cards. Mm -hmm. And... You find them? I find... I go through adult coloring books mm -hmm. and I cut out squares... Squares... Mm -hmm of pictures, um, and then I put it on the, on the front of the note card. And then you put something else inside? And then, the, yeah, mm -hmm. and then I put a white, then I put a plain white card stock in the middle. Mm -hmm. So then um, so whoever purchases, yeah, they can write a message. And then on the back, they have a, Label that says Curious Colorful Creations and the information that people can get more information. Purchase the cards. Purchase the cards. Yes. So uh, hold up one of your favorite cards, Carrie. Hmm. That one. Why is that your favorite? This is my favorite because it's a flower, indicates spring, which is one of my favorite seasons. Mm -hmm. Well, what, creating your cards seems like a lot of work. And also, I have another card that shows hearts mm -hmm. that are intertwined. And this is the meaning of I love for my family, my friends, Aww. and my coworkers. <laughs> and I love hearts because they just symbolize so much. Oh, And it, it, it seems like it's a lot of work to create these cards. It is, but I, 
It's so much fun, and I love doing it. Oh, I am so impressed by all that you have accomplished, Gary. <clears throat> How did you get where you are now? I went through Beatrice Schools. I went. I went through okay. Beatrice Schools integrated, mm -hmm. and I. Um, and then you went to through, college through twelfth grade. Through twelfth grade. grade, okay. And then you went to college. And then I went to college. And I went to Cambridge first. Mm -hmm. and, then and then I went to Riverview School. I learned a lot, and I got to learn current events, budgeting. I learned just the basic college courses that mm -hmm. people with learning challenges can learn. So they, they're business courses. That yeah, the business courses, mm -hmm. yes. And did you do any internships? I did. I took early childhood. Mm -hmm. I took business. And I took elder care. They were three really good internships. And your favorite and one my was? My favorite one was business. So you're... Um, your proof that individuals with Down syndrome can be successful. Um, why do you think it's important for people to hire individuals with Down syndrome like yourself? I think people with Down syndrome learn and you guys do great things. People with Down syndrome do really great things and they learn a lot and they should be proud of themselves for doing what they should be. You should be proud of who they are, and and even though you have Down syndrome, doesn't mean you can't be integrated with integrated in the cl classrooms or integrated with work or a job, stuff like things like that. Well, I can tell you, we really enjoy having you around the office, Carrie. So at the Sanio, uh, we're celebrating something important coming up soon, World Down Syndrome Day. Can you tell everybody about World Down Syndrome Day? World Down Syndrome Day is on 321. 321. Which means that the first. So it's celebrated, it's celebrated on the 21st day, 21st day of the third of month. The third month. Mm -hmm. 21st day of the third month. And why was that day chosen? That day was chosen because. Um, three copies? The, the three copies of the third... 21st. The, tw the third copies, three copies of the 21st chromosome. Mm -hmm. So, um, World Down Syndrome Day is coming up on March 21st. It was first um, celebrated in 2011, and now it's celebrated all over the world. Yes. Yep. So what is Desanio doing for their families on World Down they Syndrome Day? They are going to see a movie. We're going to have a movie night and celebrate with some snacks during the having some snacks while we watch the movie. Yes. Yeah, so we, we are gathering our families together to celebrate this day. Yes, we are gathering families to, to celebrate World Down Syndrome, World Down Syndrome Day. Day. Well, Carrie, thank you so much for being here today. I really enjoyed talking with you. We will be right back with the Improvineers. Welcome back. I am here with Rob Snow and some of his Improvineers. Um, <laughs> I have Nick Doyle, Audrey Castillo, and Carmen Farley. Thanks for being here, guys. Can you tell us why do you love this program so much, Nick? Well, I love teaching improv every day in my life classes and Zoom classes as well. And what about you, Audrey? Well, um, the only thing that brings me to love this program is from the directors who started this program and everyone else in it who Aww. brings me smile every day. That's so sweet. What about you, Carmen? I just love this 
program so much. Mm -hmm. It spares my 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 heart. <laughs> you guys are making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys feel like it's helped you outside of classes, like at work or at school, Nick? Yes, one hundred percent. I uh, um um. It helps me listen more. Mm -hmm. It helps me to communicate with my coworkers and my um, uh, customers and better eye contact, mm -hmm. focus, teamwork. Awesome. And what I'm a host oh. at Applebee's as well. Mm -hmm. And cool. I'm a national sales executive. And I am the <laughs> Improv New Method national <laughs> sales executive. <laughs> That's right. awesome. What about you, Audrey? How, how has that helped you? Well, I've been um, at Mercy Hospital up in Lorraine and I've been there for almost eight years now. Mm -hmm. Impressive. <laughs> um, I've been there for about eight years uh -huh. and I'm enjoying my time with my coworkers and my supervisors and everyone. But what gets me the most is um, having this good, really good listening skills and focusing mm -hmm. and really good teamwork because without teamwork, we are not able to work on the instruments that we work with. But we are a great team and we get each other and we work together as a great team. Like awesome. we are with the Improvineers, like I mm -hmm. am with the Improvineers. They are my team mm -hmm. and I love listening, focusing and knowing what's around. Good. And how about you, Carmen? How has it helped you? It has helped me at work and at, at home. Mm -hmm. I have a job called Augie's in North Wharton. Mm -hmm. I work there during on Tuesday nights or Thursday mm -hmm. doing food prepping. So it's helped you at work a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so Audrey and Nick, you guys are the assistant directors uh, for yes. the Provideers. What's it like to be able to teach this program to others? Mm. Well, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> teaching in is easy uh -huh. because I love teaching in Provideers and in Prov every single day, even when I'm live and when I'm online. Mm -hmm. And Audrey? Well, um, other than work working at Mercy Hospital. I used to teach at the Amherst School District of mine. Mm -hmm. So you love teaching? Yeah, I loved helping out with the kids there mm -hmm. and the teachers and the people around. Well, um, teaching today, teaching with the Zoom classes I do mm -hmm. just makes me happy and makes everything around me an easier place to know that what I did back in my volunteer time back then at the school, know exactly what I'm doing. Like nice. knowing, like listening, helping with the kids, mm -hmm. like I'm helping people who is like down, who has Down syndrome with who n needs help or needs help with the games, mm -hmm. I'm right there to help. So yeah, talking about games, I'm going to turn it over to Rob, and I want to I want to hear about see some of these games that you guys do. All right, we're going to do some games. I love it. All right, you guys ready to do some games? Oh, all right. So what we do in the beginning is we like to just warm up the brain, mm -hmm. get the brain moving. That's what improv does. We're going to play very quick, quick think. Okay. So Maria, you're going to give us a topic. It could be anything. Just oh, you just went on the spot. <laughs> it can be anything at all. Uh, I'm a not topic. Gonna improv. It can be winter. So anything you think of, give us okay. a topic. Okay. Uh, summer. Oh, summer. I'm glad I gave that one. To you. <laughs> all right. So ready, and they're gonna give us the first thing that comes to their head when they mm -hmm. think of summer. Go. Beach. Swimming. Camp house. Um, ice cream. Swimming. Oh, is that it? Right. Karaoke. All right, perfect. So the brains are moving, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Now we're going to play a game called Alien Interview. Okay. So an alien has come down to Earth. Uh, <laughs> in this case, our alien today is going to be the lovely uh, Carmen. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, but only one person um, speaks alien. Uh, 
that we found out, and that's Nick. He's our translator. And then Audrey <laughs> is the award-winning um, interviewer. So Audrey, go ahead and ask our aliens some questions that Nick will translate. Well, Miss Alien, why did you decide to come down to Earth? <laughs> she said the reason why I'm here is because uh, I'm doing a interview. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, my next question I'd like to ask is, what interview are you doing the, doing down on Earth for? <laughs> she said, I am interviewing for a sales executive job. Oh, oh that's an interesting job. Um, but in order to be in a job, you need to be on a planet. So what planet are you from? She said, the valley of the sun. <laughs> well, that's all I can think of. Thanks for What about going. Maria? Do you have any uh, Maria, questions? Maria, do you have any questions for this alien? This for the kind of right up your alley, yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, so... Alien, do you have any friends? <laughs> yes, I do. I have green and proveniers. Green and proveniers? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> As friends? I want to meet these friends. <laughs> I would love for you to meet them. Well, I think. Um, the mothership is calling her. No, it's time for her to go. Aww. Later. Peace. <laughs> All right. So that's alien interview. That's awesome. <laughs> so that's that, this is some of the things that you do in, in class. So you can see, obviously, improv, you're thinking quickly on your feet. Mm -hmm. The other part is agreeing with each other. So there's a lot that we call it yes and. Mm -hmm. So whatever she's doing, he's going to follow that. She's going to follow that. They're not going to say, no, that's not right. So there's mm -hmm. that agreement. But you could tell from a skill building standpoint in that game alone, there's a lot of listening that's required. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's focus. So you have to, there was teamwork going on there. Um, on top of the quick thinking that they all had to kind of come up with questions and mm -hmm. translating and creative thinking and, and all of that. So you can kind of start to see mm -hmm. uh, where it goes. So, great, great. Yeah. It, was really, it was really nice to meet all of you. Um, thank you for watching. We'll see you next month on Something Extra.